Here are some of the coaxes and hard lines that lead into the shack from various antennas around the yard. The 7 8 hard line comes from the Waller flag and the RG58 below it comes from the magnetic loop that is on a 40 foot tower. Opening the box you'll see the common mode choke on the inside for the Waller flag and you'll see all the coaxes coming up through the bottom as well as a ground rod. Eventually all the coaxes will be connected to those lightning arresters. The common mode choke for the Waller flag goes right directly into the shack to a steel plate which eventually goes to the rest of the uh, Waller flag system. Below that Waller flag is the coax going into the shack for the magnetic loop. There's the bus bar for all the lightning arresters. You can see the two inch copper strip coming in from the shack and it goes down to the ground rod as well as some 4 aught cable that goes out to a well casing that is 60 feet or 80 feet in the ground. That's my basic ground system for the shack. Of course I have radials under the tower and all the towers are grounded. Hi, I'm Pete, N8PR and I have a Waller flag and I have a box outside the house through which I was running all my cables to try and isolate common mode noise and after I had disconnected my rotator I found that when I was reconnecting it I suddenly had some noise when I started connecting the wires that I didn't hear in the receiver while the wires were disconnected so I've got some more work to do to isolate the common mode noise but these are the types of noises that we have to get rid of we want to hear the weak signals on 160 now if I connect the wire here, you'll hear the noise. And I disconnect the wire and the noise goes away. I connect the wire again. And disconnect. Same thing with the uh, SDR receiver. You can see it on the, on the scope. It's connected now. And now it's disconnected. And of course it would always be right where I wanted to work someone. It's about one S unit difference. A lot of noise. This is, this is the next portion of trying to try to track down some noises here. I've got all my rotators disconnected, all three of them, and I'm going to plug them all in. And as I plug them in to the power cord, if I can find the hole, all of a sudden we hear the noise go up. See the noise. Now I'm going to unplug it. The noise goes away. Now I plug it back in. Lots of noise. Unplug it. Plug it back in. and unplug it. So noise can come from everywhere. Plug it back in. And unplug it. Got a lot of noises to get rid of here before I can hear really well on 160. So what I decided to do, I had some old clip-on toroids that I thought, well, will this get rid of the noise? 
So I started clipping toroids on, and after I put a, a few toroids on, I touched the contacts or the wires the same way, and the noise was gone. So all I did was this. Put a bunch of toroids on here. I had some clip-ons. So I put a small one on each end so they wouldn't slide around is all. Now, when I touch that wire to the same place, the noise is gone. Off. On. Off. On. So those toroids kept whatever that common mode noise was from getting to the receiver. I'm going to take the toroids off. And now I'm going to go touch that same wire to the same place. And my noise is back. Now it's off, disconnected, back on the contact. Off, on, off, on. So, seems to me that there are ways to get rid of common mode noise, you just have to figure out how to isolate every wire going into your radio. This is my ICOM 7851, and I'm listening on my transmit antenna, which is a quarter wave vertical with radials underneath it mounted on the ground. Right now the noise level is S9. Now I'm going to switch, and this is this is my magnetic loop, and the noise level is between S3 and S5. And now I'm going to switch from the magnetic loop to the Waller flag, which is vertically polarized. And you can see the noise is down quite a bit. It's down to S2. Now I'm going to switch from vertical or to horizontal polarization. And you'll watch the noise level go down. And down. And down. There it is. Here's with no noise blanker, no noise reduction. Noise blanker, noise reduction. That's the Waller flag horizontal. That's the magnetic loop vertical. That's the Waller flag horizontal. And I'm going to turn it back vertical again. And it is noisy vertical. It is more noisy vertical, but not nearly as much as the magnetic loop as you can see. Going back to horizontal. There it is, horizontal. I can't put the transmit antenna on the SDR receiver, but I can switch back and forth between the Waller flag and the receive loop. There's the magnetic receive loop, about S3. There's
there's the Waller flag, horizontal, less than half an S unit. I'll bring it from vertical, horizontal to vertical. And there it is, vertical. About half to one S unit less than the magnetic loop. I'll go back to horizontal. See the noise go down and hear it go down. There it's back to horizontal. Less than half an S unit. Now I'm going to switch back to the magnetic loop which is vertically polarized. and back to the horizontal waller flag. If you can't hear them, you can't work them. N8PR73.